All right, uh, rule number three is the, well, it's the layout of the shot. We call it composition in the world of photography, but how your photo looks and how the subject looks within the photo. And there's a really great little cheat for that, and that's the little grid lines that are in the camera app. We can use those. If those are not turned on, okay, you can just go into settings, go find the camera, where are we go, photos and camera, and then I'm just going to go make sure grid is on. See the little green guy there? It's on. So if that's not on, that's what you need to do is turn the grid on. But mine was on. So let me go back into my camera app. Okay, let's uh, get the light out of the way here because we're not teaching the uh, lighting lesson right now. Okay, so for composition, on that top line right there and where the lines intersect are the really important spots, okay? So if I want to take a picture of Bob, I want to kind of make sure his eyes, or any person you're taking a photo of, those eyes, so I've got a grid on the, on the little monitor I'm looking at right now, so I'm putting my eyes exactly on that top line, okay? And that's going to adjust, that makes the headroom look good, everything. You don't put the subject in the middle like this, okay? You don't want that. You want the line, the grid on, the, on that top line of the grid on the eye. So if I'm getting a really close shot of Bob, I'm going to put that there, make sure I'm focused, okay? Put his eyes on the line. Snap away. If I'm getting a really far away shot of Bob, I'm still going to put his eyes on that top line, right there, that top, faint top line, and snap some more shots of him there. Okay, so no matter where you are in the shot, you want those eyes of your subject on that top line. Now, sometimes you take pictures of multiple height people and you kind of have to work with the tallest person, but that's the whole thing about composition. You always want to make sure that your composition looks good. And if you want it really good, you'll start to put Bob's the center of your subject, uh, or between their eyes, right on that little X, on one of the two little X's where the crosses of the grid is. So like that there is a great shot because that's putting Bob right in the perfect place. Let me show you what that looks like here. There he is, there's Bob, looking good. Okay, so uh, that's the third rule is composition or headroom we sometimes call it but make sure you use the grid. Okay, now you need to take pictures of people. So whoever's like next to you and stuff, just practice a couple of shots of just taking pictures with their eyes right on that top line. All right, have fun.